know, I looked into the eye of truth, and in the eye of truth I saw who I was and what everything meant, you know. And when I stared into the eye of truth, I saw something, something so devastating. You know, I saw, I saw the way this world has been eaten alive by greed. This world has been eaten alive by chasing some kind of dream, chasing some kind of, some kind of strange illusion of what success and what everything should be. But you know, it's. That's the eye of truth right there because you realize you're the only, you're the only person and you feel so alone because everyone's just trapped and they're all trapped in there. They're all trapped in that web, that success mindset that, and at the same time, the, the earth is getting eaten alive. It's a big consequence, you know. That's the eye of truth. In the eye of truth, man. Because when you see that eye of truth, you you can't go back. It's just it's there. It's all right there. So let me tell you something. Do you think like I do? Do you see the world like I do? Or are you afraid of fear? I don't know what you're staring at, but it's fear. And I won't see you come near The monsters that stare at our face And laughs with no trace of your blood Cause it shot you in the head We see once you stare into that eye of truth, really no staring back. And you see everything for how it is and it's not pretty and it makes you a little depressed, you know. That's why people don't like to talk about religion and politics because in those features, the eye of truth really reveals itself and you start, I say, I say, read about every political party you can. Read about every religion you can. Make those Venn diagrams and start comparing the two. Compare the politics, compare the religions, compare them all. And when you do that, you start to see patterns. Just how much we fooled each other. This dark grip that the past holds on the human makes everything fall apart, you see. But there's one thing we can do about that. I think if every human stared into the eye of truth, there would be something. Some kind of uprise, you know. It's probably gonna take like maybe a hundred years or so, but what I'm saying is inevitable because it will happen because more people are staring into that eye of truth. Once they realize that the rich get richer, the poor gets poorer, the poor gets angry. Oh, and when the poor gets angry, the middles get angry. But you're hoping those phones will work. You're hoping those distractions will work. You're hoping that music they make to, to make the, to, to, today, today, 
Oh, you sing about that fucking money, huh? You sing about that money. That's what you do. You sing about how great you are. No, you don't sing about that. You sing what they want you to sing. But what you play and what you say are not what's on your mind. Because it's always your time. Oh, that time will come, trust me. Well, yeah, it will take a while. But now that you've heard this song, you've heard my plea. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Stare into the eye of truth. Let yourself free. Another good song, my friend. If I were still alive, I would greatly appreciate your vibrations of the strings tickling my ear. <laughs>